Hello and good morning. Now, as our third year anniversary gets really close at hand, now it's important for you to note that today is our 777th edition of uh, uh, Wake Up Nigeria. Uh, 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 yes, sir. Uh, 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 what a number. Uh, 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 seven, 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 seven. seven. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. if I was... Um, what? If, if I was a bit, maybe, I don't want, if, if I was uh, superstitious or something, mm -hmm. I'd say it's, it's a number for perfection, number of uh, yes, so. goodness and all of that. And the only thing had... I'm thinking of right now is the casino, sorry. Yes, <laughs> as if you had <laughs> it's got a, lucky a number. triple seven, uh -huh. you'd be getting a lot of coins, yeah. just to put it that way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fantabulous. Now, every second of every edition has been a total class act. But all the magnificent and amazing people who have stringed together the episodes from the producers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. this, this, this one there, let's go all the way. Yes, so the producers, the let's technical the team, all of the... everyone. Yeah. Left yeah. out the directors. Do you want them to wait, fuck wait, up your let's start producers right first. Yeah. All of the... <laughs> Halim A. Gaddafi, uh, wow. Francis Azubike, <laughs> that's the ones that are there now. Best man, Betty, Zainab. Mm. Uh, we, we, we should not forget the producer. If we forget the producer, I will start the show again. Um, yeah, so when it <laughs> comes to the Zainab? team, of course, Zainab. The team behind Zay Zay. Wake Up Nigeria is huge. Directors, and, technical right. team. Today was producers. Don't worry, we'll get to others. Calm down. Oh, you should hold your blood. <laughs> but producers, big shout out to you, of course. 777, mm -hmm. it's our lucky number for winning. And it's all about the smiles. We're here to bring the sunshine to you. And uh, hopefully you've been with us from the very beginning. And if you have, we say a very big thank you. Loads of big hugs, virtual yeah. hugs. Right. If you have been with us from the beginning, man, you yeah. are the MVP. Yeah. You are an OG, right? Mm -hmm. It's great to have you. And of course, if you are new, if you're just joining in, of course, we have something in store for you as well. I am Mike Messicano. And I'm Titi Laya Oinson. That is Mary mm. Rashua Ali hey. over there. <laughs> Good morning. With a huge <laughs> smile on her face. And hey, it's going to be a totally awesome experience, people. Seven, seven, seven. Yes. That, just, that, just, that just changes the whole narrative, mm -hmm. right? I feel okay. like I'm going to make some money today. Mm. I feel like there's going to be some alerts just randomly, just because of that number. Yeah. Just what, what, where's your phone? What? <laughs> I was about to hear, alert. I was hearing the sound on. Yeah, but you have a different sound for alert. When it's alert, it's different. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe, just maybe. But remember, you can catch us online if you stream the show live on tvcentertainment.tv and, of course, on Facebook at TVC Connect. You can also send in those comments. Of course, and of all course. That. Use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC to interact with us. Yes, so. Remember, this amazing app remains available for you to download from any Android or iOS store. You can watch us on your mobile devices from anywhere in the world. YouTube, that's our one-stop shop. Yeah. Our episodes are there, segments are there. Just hit us up, TVC Entertainment. That's the channel, and you can catch up on us. Another way is 2.30 p.m. on Fridays, of course. So we have uh, WN Extra. Yeah. Maybe Extra has to do with extra time, extra mm -hmm. fun extra all ig live yes, that's sir. going to be um exclusively on instagram hit us up 2 30 p.m every friday and we can't wait to have you we can't wait to see you hear from you answer your questions and we're going to start off the show in a very positive way mm. in a motivating lifting aura mm. Chile, do you know what? it's going to start us off with daily vulnerables it's so easy to be very critical of others oh the government the politicians useless the bankers, terrible. Nollywood, trash. Musicians, no morals. Dr. Ene Onazi is a doctor of medicine and is certified by the Education Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates. She'll be talking to us about five things you need to know when it comes to your nervous system. Questions that patients ask about headaches. Mm. is our focus for today. I enjoyed the one on back aches, man. I hope we have that episode on YouTube, that segment. Mm. That mm. was a really enlightening mm. experience for me. So what now, are the yeah. questions you have about headaches? Mm. We might be answering them today. Of course, uh, on parenting, Izefwa Erabo, who is a parenting well-being and human flourishing teacher and coach, will be with us to talk about uh, parenting mindset and routine as a pathway to a peaceful home and a continuation and conclusion on the topic. <laughs> now, face masks are, uh, they've become a must-have. Now, we're gonna be letting you see how fashionable 
they can actually be right now. Have you thought about it as a fashion accessory? We'll be talking more about that later. <sighs> mm. We have singer-songwriter Chick. <laughs> who will be talking to us uh, on the show. All right. Yes. Tuesday, seven, seven, countdown seven. continues. We're almost three. Wake Up Nigeria is going to be three on Friday. Yeah. Big, big news. Mm -hmm. The episode 777, very key. Oh, very good. So, so when I discovered that, it's like, man, mm -hmm. woo, 777. Like mm -hmm. I said, if you hit that number, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> some coins will be dropping. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> and, uh, you so <laughs> let's, let's use that one to, you know, like profess high into Wake Up Nigeria. So big clients are going to be joining the show mm. in this new, new year. Dickness. And they're sponsoring the show T -T. even more. Because, you know, some of our segments, are, you know, uh, they have a lot of followership uh, and a lot of clients come after those shows, ads and all that. But even more are coming. That number that we've reached, mm, hey, mm, we don't understand. Mm, mm, seven, seven. Yes, mm. so I have some clients that are calling. They're thinking about calling me now. Ah, they're thinking so how about come it. nobody talked about 666? Uh, wow, oh, Mary. <laughs> You went because there. of the lock that is attached to 777. Now you, you are just went there. Yes, now because we were 666 at some point, 811 you. days ago. We're, we're, not, we're not, not there. me. We're not, I was never there. We're, we're never, never there. Six, we're never six, there. Six. What happened was that that episode was a weekend. We skipped it. Yes, yeah, right. we did. So we're not there. <laughs> we never had we're that not episode. There. Give us those words of wisdom. Don't uh -huh. give us. So don't <laughs> those clients are going to do board meetings, virtual board meetings, mm. discussing the show today, mm. and they are going to sponsor the show back. Fourth, center, up, down, press down, shake it together, all those running over. Everything. Don't leave us. Don't yes, let's go. Keep it up, keep it up. <laughs> keep it up. No, but, but, yeah. um, but I actually remember saying something like that before, saying a sh quick prayer like that once. I was like, ah, no matter what, wherever people are discussing um, our industry, it's me that they'll think about as, as the host for that event. It's me that they'll be talking about in board meetings. You know, I used to Wonderful. say those things. Affirmations are... And very Apparently, valid. some things like that were actually happening. Uh, people will buzz you like, ah, they mentioned your name today. We're considering you for. I'm like, ah, please don't let them be considering me. You know. So it's one thing for you to be in an industry, and it's another thing for people to be talking about you. Mm -hmm. You know. So you just at least be in people's minds. But then there's minds. also the case mm -hmm. of. Yeah. Mm. What are they talking about? Eh, 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 eh. It's not. A, it's not. A, no no negative things. About? No negative things. Okay. Positive. Mm, mm. All positive. Well, <laughs> affirmations. I, I. I also wish that when your name is called, when they hear your name, mm -hmm. ah, strong things. Yes. So Imagine happens? just just think of your name now. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing you're about to hear, mm -hmm. Lady you Mary. Can mm -hmm. Mother of Jesus. <laughs> Mary is taking the news now, of course. All right, so we begin this hour with latest developments in Abuja, where the federal government says it has received 4.48 million applications for the NPAR Batch C scheme. This is far above the initial number of 400,000 applicants earlier planned, uh, planned for rather by Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Sadia Umar Farouk. Uh, she disclosed this via a tweet saying, and I quote, it has been 16 days since the portal opened and we have received 4.48 million applications to date. End of quote. The ministry had recently explained that it was carrying out the transitioning of independent monitors recruited to monitor batch A and B of the NPAR program, as well as other national social investment programs. The program was inaugurated by the government in 2016 with the mandate of lifting citizens out of poverty through a number of social interventions. To COVID now, uh, our coverage of the novel coronavirus pandemic, uh, the World Health Organization has warned that too many countries were bungling the response to the coronavirus pandemic, meaning there could be no return to normality anytime soon. After a daily record of 230,000 new COVID-19 cases reported on Sunday, the UN Health Agency said the pandemic was only going to get worse unless people stuck to the basics of physical distancing, hand washing, wearing masks and staying home if sick. WHO Chief Tedros Adhanom uh, Ghebreyesus warned that some countries easing their way out of lockdowns were now witnessing the resurgence of the virus because they were not following proven methods to reduce risks. 
These statements come as cases continue to rise across the globe, with latest statistics showing nearly one out of every hundred Americans have tested positive. Also, infections in Latin America and the Caribbean have now surpassed 3 million. To school resumption now, the federal government has released guidelines ahead of the planned resumption of schools at every level in the country, but failed to disclose the dates. Safe distancing measures in the new guidelines would require pupils and students to stay two meters apart. The guidelines dealt extensively on equitable plans for school reopening and operations focusing on attendance, social distancing, hygiene, cleaning and non-pharmaceutical interventions for safe and healthy school activities and programs. The guideline was signed by the Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, and Minister of State Education, Chukwemeka Mwajuba, and developed in collaboration with the Federal Ministry of Environment, Federal Ministry of Health and Health Safety Experts in the country. The minister explained that the need to develop the guidelines became imperative given that COVID-19 may be with us for a while. Going to Delta now, days after the Ijoz and insecurities of oil producing communities in Delta State staged different protests demanding the restart of abandoned projects and neglect by the federal government, leaders of the two ethnic groups have threatened to shut down operations of all international oil companies in their communities. The leaders called for a quick intervention to forestall a breach of the peace in their areas. Ikenna Amechi reports. Shoving a bitter history of confrontation aside, the Ijaz and the Shekiris are bonding as kinsmen to address the causes of neglect and underdevelopment in their oil producing communities. Leaders of both ethnic groups converge on worry after several protests to draw the attention of the federal government to what they describe as the neglect of their areas from meaningful developments and the abandonment of projects that could develop their communities. Despite the warning by the Bamatu Council of Chiefs and the movement of, for, de for development of the Chakiri oil and gas producing communities, the Buhari-led federal government remains adamant to our genuine demand. But we have respected them we have exercised restraints for some days. Let it be known, we will shut down all these oil installations if our demands are not listened to. They state clearly their expectations from the federal government. We say a love is a love. Our brothers should hold oil wells. Our brothers should work in these oil companies. Our roads should be pre properly done. We are tired of drinking bad water. The federal government should instruct Nigerian Ports Authority through the Ministry of Transportation to dredge the Escabros Bar Mount in order to enhance the optimum usage of the Wari Coco Brutu Sapler Ports. We demand immediate constitution of a substantive NDDC board instead of the present interim committee. NGC should, as a matter of fact, deal with our demands immediately. We are not joking at this time. If our communities cannot have light, no other part of this country can use gas to have light to enjoy themselves. This is the first time in 20 years that the Ijaz and the Shakiris in Delta State will be coming together to achieve a common goal. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Worry. And that's it on the news updates for this hour. We will take a break and return with the sports news. Stay with us. Thank you very much. All right, so um, we will start uh, the newspaper headlines this morning mm. uh, with the Punch newspaper. And it says, uh, school reopening confusion Ministry lists guidelines omits resumption date. Federal government says COVID-19 won't go soon, rules out financial help for private schools. Southwest states hold virtual meeting today, take stand on pupils' resumption. 
Lagos urges doctors to end strike, resume work. NNPC sacked 850 refineries workers, Pengasa New Peng allege. 35 Kwara doctors have tested positive for COVID-19, and that's coming from the NMA. 3,600 rape cases recorded during lockdown, says Minister. How kidnapped Kingpin Wadume was rearrested after Balara Bay's troops aided escape. Uh, that's coming from a witness. Cultists jailed 20 years for raping four-year undergraduates. APC governor's leaders meet today, plan funding for Edo Ondo polls. And up here, we see Nigeria earned a $206 billion from oil in five years. And that's a report uh, my, by uh, OPEC. CBN places serial loan defaulters on watch lists. Nigerian foreign academics, others celebrate Shoyinka at 86. NFIU submits reports on uh, Magus Forex transactions uh, to panel. And of course, the usual COVID-19 updates there. All of this in the Punch newspaper today. I have the Nation newspaper with me now. And it says here, PTF, airborne transmission of coronavirus possible. Government cautions against mass gatherings, electronic sharing of test results to start. Now the story starts there on the cover and wraps up on page eight. Moving to the top of the page there, unclaimed dividends now 158.4 billion naira. Most investors unknown. Uh, Magu's office searched by detectives. The panel grills more officials. Magu didn't pay Falamo, Falano uh, 28 million naira. Page eight has more on that. It also says here, we hold senior lawyer in high esteem. Uh, moving to the photo story here, it says, um, a patient being returned home by relatives uh, due to the ongoing doctor strike at the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital yesterday and an empty hall at the hospital, uh, which is usually the waiting area. Uh, is also in the photo stories there. Lagos decries Dr. Strike and as insensitive. And uh, Ikiti medics justify action. On the number of cases globally, COVID-19 global cases now stand at 13,182,983. That's a staggering number there. And the death toll stands at 573,000. 865. Presently in Nigeria, the number of recorded cases of COVID-19 stands at 33,153 cases and the death toll as well has risen to 744. That's what we have on the cover of The Nation. Ironically, just last weekend, it was just about 12 million plus. Mm. So it is rising. Mm. Moving on to the Daily Sun newspaper now. A fire guts World Trade Center in Abuja. Security seals Magu's office, withdraws official bulletproof SUVs. Panel demands proof of spending on staff foreign training. Why I cannot release suspended EFCC chair? That's coming from the IGP. Kaduna pastor dismisses link with him. Now here we see uh, four two stories here. The first one being empty seats at Lasuth as Lagos State resident doctors begin a three-day warning strike over the unpaid allowances in Lagos yesterday. We also see this one, smoke billows out of the World Trade Center in Abuja yesterday. And uh, the third one here, de-radicalized uh, repentant Boko Haram members displaying their newly learned skills at Malam Sidi camp, Gumbi, Gumbi State, just yesterday. Here again, we see reps grill NDDC bus over 90.4 billion naira extra budgetary expenditure, 150 abandoned projects. Commission officials snub Senate's panel. Ondo Guba, crisis rocks PDP as members call for Ajayi's disqualification. APC delegates declare war on aspirants. 2023, APC saw this youth want Igbo president. And finally, just happier, we have COVID-19, federal government rejigs airports protocol, reduces passengers' arrival time from 3 to 1 hour 30 minutes before flights. Now, all of these stories you can read in the Daily Sun newspaper today. Mm. 
well, three hours was a long time a very to long be waiting time. at the airport, yeah. you know. Uh, but, uh, well, hopefully the adjustments will work. The show continues after this quick break. This is Wake Up Nigeria. Time for Lagos traffic updates on Wake Up Nigeria. Thank you for staying with us uh, this morning. Uh, we have uh, a few routes to go through. Uh, but first of all, remember the rains are here and you have to be extremely careful with how you manage your movement. That is why we are here to ensure that you get to your intended destination on time. And of course, safe and sound. All right. Okay, so... Um, uh, taking from the usual, from Abuliegba to Mushin bus stop this morning, as it is, it will take you about an hour, 25 minutes to get to your destination if you are driving. Uh, so if you're not driving, you want to factor in uh, waiting at the bus stop before the bus uh, eventually fills up, which doesn't take so long these days because of the number of passengers on the seat. But you need to factor those extra time. But if you're driving, an hour, 25 minutes should take you to Mushin bus stop this morning. And areas to uh, look out for, if you're trying to avoid traffic, uh, Ileepo bus stop, there's a gridlock there. And um, after, just after Pleasure bus stop, in fact, as you're approaching Pleasure bus stop is where the light traffic starts. But just after uh, Pleasure bus stop, you would also experience a uh, gridlock, which would take you through Iyanopaja. But as soon as you are, uh, are off Iyanopaja, it becomes light traffic. Uh, so um, it eases out at some points. But as you're approaching Dokpemu again, you should expect um, light traffic again. And that light traffic will take you all the way uh, to Ajayi Farm where the gridlock starts. So there's light traffic till you get to Ajayi Farm where the gridlock will take you all the way through Ikeja along till you uh, just past them. Um, national bus stop okay but after that it's um mostly free just pockets of light traffic until you get to the arena at Oshodi. that's where you experience light traffic then a gridlock just before the bridge after which it eases out to light traffic then uh super smooth uh just as usual pockets of light traffic till you get to Mushin bus stop so an hour 25 minutes if you're driving and you're good to go you will definitely be at your destination from Abuliegba to Mushin bus stop this morning we'll take a look at another route now but first I'm pretty sure uh, Mike and Titi have uh, updates for me. Mm. Mm. Okay, so I'm stopping here. Um, this is uh, traffic uh, butter. This is traffic butter. And uh, six, this came in 6.25 a.m., just a little bit under 11 minutes ago mm. to the hour or to the minute. The recovery of yesterday's multiple accident is ongoing at Fadei in Wodunikwam. Mm. So if you are going to use Fadei, there's, uh, there was an accident yesterday and um, they are clearing the vehicles there, so there might be some form of uh, mm. uh, traffic there and all that. Right? Yeah. And then um, still there vehicular movement from those descending uh, Dorman Long Bridge mm. uh, has been diverted to service lane while BRT corridor will be open as soon as well. So, yeah. but, no, but Dorman, Where's so so, uh, so it's if you're if you're going uh, if you're going to Ikorodu in okay. towards Fadi, okay. right? Uh, just after Domanlong Bridge. Okay. Uh, try as much as possible to avoid that route. I have a tweet on that as well. So Doman the Long Bridge is on that road. Yes, it's along. Okay. Domanlong yes. Bridge sounded like it's somewhere. Domanlong uh, Bridge is <laughs> sounded like somewhere in maybe I don't know. That's the that's the turning now. Okay. Yeah. So uh, anyhow. Um, <laughs> the, way, the, the map will break it down for you. Um, <laughs> but the container, a container fell and blocked the road. Mm. Um, so it's something that that he, <clears throat> is causing traffic already. Uh, and um, which way is this? This which? is okay. Let me read the tweet. Uh, if you're going to Ikorodu towards Ikorodu Road towards Fade, just okay. after Doman Long Bridge. Okay. Try as much as possible to avoid that route. Uh, a container fell and blocked the road. It's going to be heavy traffic on that route. Now, so close day. to that route, mm. 6.28 a.m., broken yeah. down loaded trailer with iron rods yeah. on a Mori Loop Bridge. Mm. In what stain on the available lane, mm. coupled the normal challenge of the articulated vehicles activities towards a papa. So this is um, Costain mm. heading, you know, as though you want to head towards a papa and all that. Yeah. So it's not yeah. so far from yeah. the other place. So man, you the road now yeah. might be a Herculean task this morning. Honestly. All right. Thank you very much for those updates. Um, uh, just a quick one before I join you guys in the kitchen. As it is, if you're coming from Ojo Dubeja, uh, heading towards the island, especially to CMS Garage, 
I'll advise that you pass uh, the third mainland bridge. As a matter of fact, the only traffic you will encounter is light traffic at Ogudu. And uh, from that axis, before you get to Ogudu, smooth sailing. After Ogudu, smooth sailing as well. Uh, as a matter of fact, you have to get off the bridge before you even encounter traffic at all. And it's even light traffic till you get to CMS Garage. As uh, mentioned by Yomi and T uh, by, um, Titi and Mike, please uh, take that route instead because if you decide to pass through the other routes, that's the Suriliri axis, it will take you an hour, 10 minutes. So obviously, the difference is clear. I'll be joining the guys in the kitchen right about now. Mm. 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 All right, mm. now um, there, there is something that made the news internationally. Um, I'm not sure if you ever watched Glee. Mike, did you ever watch the, oh, no, the show no. Glee? No, I, of course, I've, I've heard a lot about it. There are quite yeah. a lot of shows I'd want to binge on. Um, yeah. Glee is not really one of them. Okay, so trust me, Mike, when it comes to, because I know you're a music fan. Mm. Glee, ah, well, Glee is the kind of show that I don't think can ever be repeated. I don't think that series can ever be done again because they used the youngest, freshest talent to perform music on another level. So they, they really broke down songs from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. They brought all of them back remixed all of them and put them into a musical series. So um, a, lot of, a lot of stars have come out of Glee. Um, one of them being the, the guy that plays The Flash. Okay. He was in Glee. Uh, and of course, uh, Santana Lopez, mm. who uh, sadly passed away. So um, I know Mary uh, has a lot of information on that particular story. Now, apparently she, she went missing uh, and her son was found on a boat and they basically were looking for her for quite a while. So can you tell us a little bit well, more? What, what actually happened was, mm. our son was found um, sleeping on a boat, mm. wearing a life jacket. Mm. And when asked of, uh, you know, about his mom, mm. he said his mom, he saw his mom disappear under the water. Mm. And the second life jacket was right next to him. Mm. So at the moment, police are saying th there is no evidence of suicide, that it was possibly um, a case of um, she not being able to swim to meet the birds, which is also in doubt. Mm. Uh, so they're, they're trying to still confirm that it's a body, but they're positive that it's a body. Mm. Uh, however, there have been several conspiracy theories. Mm. First, um, on Twitter, the last tweet she made Mm. was um, uh, uh, just the two of us. Mm. A photo she took of herself and her son at the lake. Mm. And so uh, people started giving different conspiracy theories because somebody actually quoted Eminem's song. Mm. I don't know if you heard that um, Eminem's just the two of us. Wow, wow, wow. So for her to have tweeted that, and then mm. that it now has something to do with that so, Eminem song. And then, like. and then, of course, because it was, she, she was on Glee, a lot of interpretations came from a lot of songs that were yes. performed on Glee. Yes. Uh, that, were have, that had to do with a lot of the characters' lives. Mm -hmm. um, so there, there is this um, myth about, uh, you know, a curse around the actors on Glee. Uh, as I think this is the fourth member of what, Glee what, cast mm -hmm. to pass away mm -hmm. in so, some strange manner. So I, 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 saw, I saw a picture of the members of cast holding mm. hands yeah. um, at the river. And, um, you know, it, it, yesterday when I, when, I, when, I, when I heard about it and all that, it's entertainment and all that, and it, it, really, it, really, it really got me, you know, in sorts of ways because mm. it, the, 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 looking at Glee, this is a series that uh, six seasons, so at yeah. over 754 musical performances. Mm -hmm. That is massive. So it's, uh, yeah. it's somehow, something like a compendium of music. And it's, it, music gives joy, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, considering that this is on the back, back foot of, I mean, yesterday we heard about Nelson Mandela's daughter. We heard about Elvis Presley's gr uh, grandson mm -hmm. yes. and all of that. I'm like, man. What's happening? <laughs> what? Like, mm. man, 2022. And then I just also heard about so, John, John Travolta's wife. Yeah, John Travolta's wife, wife yeah. you know, even though he, he, kept that, he kept that behind wraps. And mm. I don't know, just. You know, uh, July 13th is actually the anniversary of Corey's death. One of Corey, the Glee. One of the Glee yes, cast. Yes, the Glee yeah. cast. So it was also another coincidence because mm. she went missing on July 8th. Mm. And so even Wikipedia quotes yeah. that day as, mm. a, you know, a. Mm. DOD mm. and so she being found on July 13th there's actually a tweet that is trending now where oh. the person was like oh this is like the seventh anniversary of Corey's uh, death that I hope she doesn't get I hope it's not a body that will be found today and that was what happened mm. so mm. this so you know eh, urban, urban legends eh, Yankee their own eh, mm. their own used to fear somebody so <laughs> they, they, when they want to do their own their own can be ah. I, I, I do want to elicit yeah. laughter, but it seems so. You know, we we here it in when look at our, our mm. industry and all of that, you think about it, and 
I remember, um, I remember Christopher Lee, who of mm -hmm. course was the first uh, Dracula, who played Dracula, and uh, of course who went on to do Saruman in Lord of the Rings, even though there was a, there was a rumor about how, you know, what happened, that oh, he committed. I mean, he did quite well. And then I remember um, Innocent Ohiri. I don't know if, how many of you remember Willie Willie here. You always have, you know, when people do things that are, maybe when people act diabolical stuff or maybe, yep. you know, that kind of stuff, you expect those kind of things to happen, but not when, Something in so a fun, show like show Glee. Like exciting, so, yes. But Glee you know? is still so powerful. If you get to binge watch it, right? Mm -hmm. It is so powerful. The way they made those actors get into those roles. Let's feel a little bit you of it. Yeah. You can't understand what yeah. this is Let's about until you see Naya in action. Exactly. You need to take a look at this. <laughs> live in a country like Nigeria, it's so easy to be very critical of others. Oh, the government, the politicians, useless. The bankers, terrible. Nollywood, trash. Musicians, no morals. You know? The billionaires, they are all thieves. All. It's very easy when you're in a country like this, or in the world today, to be so critical of other people. But the problem... I notice is this, when you spend so much time seeing the faults of others, you usually don't have enough time to spend on yourself. And it's a balance really, because sometimes some things are so terrible in the world. Rape, corruption, theft, abuse. And the temptation can be to just keep criticizing, criticizing. But you yourself, are you a good person? I always joke that it's only in Nigeria that bankers who work for shitty banks criticize Nollywood for shitty films. I'm like, where do you have the conscience when your app is not working to say that this person cannot act well? But that's very common. It's very common. Because there's so much bad around us, it becomes an excuse not to focus on ourselves. But you, are you as good as you expect other people to be? Because you are the one that really matters. Your criticism doesn't change a lot of people, but it can change your criticism, your feedback to yourself. The only person you have control over is yourself. So I'm not saying that you shouldn't criticize others. I try to avoid it for a few years now. But I'm saying that just be sure that in criticizing the government, the politicians, the singers, the poets, the dramatists, the publishers, the restaurants, the filling station attendants, and your mother, that you have enough time to remember that you have your own weaknesses. You still have a long way to go in getting better on those weaknesses. Welcome back. Are you just tuning in? Wow. Okay, now, just in case you didn't know, Today is the 777th edition of Wake, Wake Up, Up Nigeria. Nigeria. And according to the American publication, the Orthodox Study Bible, 777 represents the threefold perfection of the Trinity for Christians. Now that is an interesting fact, if mm. you ask me. Mm. Welcome to the second hour of your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Mm. Of course, uh, well, the greatest glory living lies. Uh, not in falling, but then in rising every time we fall. You get right back up now. Thank you for joining us this morning. Yeah. It's the second lap of the show. And uh, yeah, we're still uh, what we are. We're actually getting to celebrate our anniversary. is going to be on Friday and we're yeah. gearing up for that. Uh, three, of course, three. Well, not like, not like Chelsea that yes. put three on our jersey and they're collecting three wow, anyhow. Wow, really? But we had three, you went there. Three, four. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the great reasons, the best reasons ever. Threefold, triple the perfection. That's exactly, exactly. Three years of amazing TV. Every single morning you've led us into your homes and we do not take that for granted. At all. Yeah. At all, at all, we don't. Now it's been yeah. an eventful year and of course uh, we've watched the world change into something, uh, there's a new kind of normal. Mm. Things are definitely uh, going to get better. Yes, right. we, amen we, we to that. We hope for the best. Mm. Now of course remember that as you move around, observe unnecessary hygiene conditions, of course, go out with your face mask, uh, your sanitizers, ensure that uh, you know you maintain the required distance. Yes, sir. of course, and uh, live a healthy lifestyle. My name is Mike Messi Kennel. I'm Titi Lyle Oinson, and Mary's in the kitchen. Yeah, she's right there. 
and uh, she got a huge smile on her face as usual. She's with Chef Ben today. That's right. That's, right. That's the reason for the smile, <laughs> knowing there's going to be food on the table this morning for breakfast. So Chef Ben Hi, is with morning. us this morning, good and morning. we are going to be creating magic together Definitely this morning. Great to have you on the show. Too. All right, the Chef Ben. Now, congratulations, Chef Ben, on your award. Something you won last week. You tell us about that later. All right, no problem. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. All right, then. Yes, we have award-winning chefs on Wake Up Nigeria. Don't you understand? Don't you understand? Award-winning chefs just for you to watch and learn sure. from. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel on tvcentertainment.tv for more of our videos, especially some from the kitchen. 2.30 p.m. Fridays, of course, uh, Wake Up Nigeria Extra, that's exclusively on Instagram Live. You would want to uh, join that one, you don't want to miss it. We have more time mm. for quite a little bit more than we do on the show. Yeah. All right, so straight up to what we have for you for the remaining two laps of the show um, for our health uh, this mm. morning. We're starting yeah. with Dr. Ene Onazi. She's a doctor of medicine and is certified by the Education Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates. Now she'll be talking about five things you need to know about your nervous system, specifically questions that many people have about headaches today. What causes them? Mm. How can we avoid them? Mm. Mm? Are there different pain levels to headaches? Those are the questions we need answered. Parenting would have Izefwa Erabo, a parenting well-being and human flourishing teacher, and she'll be talking to us about parenting mindset and routine as a pathway to a peaceful home. Now, face masks are a must-have, and we'll be letting you see how fashionable they can be right now. We'll be talking about face masks as a fashion accessory a little later on. Uh, we have fast rising singer and songwriter Czech who will be with us to have a chat at the show. Yeah, so I, I just wanted to, you know, I don't know if I can take the spotlight one more time for my brother. No, no, take it, take for it, my brother, take it. It's not, you know, it's not so too much. it's it. I don't know how it how it is in families where there are loads of siblings, but because we're just two, mm. you know, it's very significant when you know, either of us are doing anything or something, okay, cool. you know. So um, I. I I keep remembering how it was when we were younger. I have some old pictures. Maybe I'll put it up as a throwback later on. Um, and how time flies, how, you know, situations change. I can still remember when he was in university. He went for chef school. He's done so many different things. Went to chef school? Yeah, he went to chef ah. school. Yeah. That's nice. So yeah, so like no, 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 no. <laughs> you went to chef school. I'm surprised you never did, man. No, no, yeah? no, 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 no. You so, see, you see, uh, mm -hmm. this life is not balanced like that. <laughs> Presently, I was actually, like <laughs> I was actually going to talk to some of our chefs to see if he could work with them. He's working on so many different projects, but being a guy, he's a chef school. He has not come three years, and he has not come since to cook oh, here. No, Titi, you're not doing well. You're not doing well. No, 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 Happy birthday, happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, K. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm hoping that by the time you know the pandemic cools down, maybe one of the hotels or restaurants, once they open again, he can start working with one of them and all that. You know, just so many things that could have happened this year that this because year, of COVID-19, yeah. COVID. you know, and you know it's it interesting that you'd mention that because mm. um, this Naya's uh, issue actually mm. got me thinking. Mm. It reminded me of Robin Williams. So many mm. people seem to have a big smile on their faces. Yeah. Uh, we tend to remember people only when it's too late. Mm. Today, I, I believe everybody should just take time out and say hi to somebody. Yeah. See, somebody yeah. you haven't seen in months, somebody you know has lost their jobs. Doesn't mean you have to give them money if you can't afford to. Yeah. But just to say, ah, I just thought of you. I said, mm. let me check up on you. You know, mm. little mm. things like that go a long way. You don't know whose life you might be saving by doing that. Mm. Now, this is, this is not a joke, mm. but Mary, don't leave me. <laughs> Don't and it's time now for Mary to take the news. <laughs> All right, we begin the, this hour uh, with latest developments in Abuja, where the federal government says it has received 4.48 million applications for the NPAR Batch C scheme. This is far above the initial number of 400,000 applicants earlier planned, uh, planned for by the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Minister, uh, Disaster Management and Social Development, Sadia Umar Farouk. 
She disclosed this via a tweet saying, and I quote, it has been 16 days since the portal opened and we have received 4.48 million applications to date, end of quote. The ministry had recently explained that it was carrying out the transitioning of independent monitors recruited to monitor batch A and B of the NPAR program, as well as other national social investments programs. The program was inaugurated by the government in 2016 with the mandate of lifting citizens out of poverty through a number of social interventions. Uh, to COVID-19 now, uh, coverage of the novel coronavirus uh, pandemic, of course. The World Health Organization has warned that too many countries were bungling their response to the coronavirus pandemic, meaning there could be no return to normality anytime soon. After a daily record of 230,000 new COVID-19 cases reported on Sunday, the UN Health Agency said the pandemic was only going to get worse unless people stuck to the basics of physical distancing, hand washing, wearing masks and staying home if sick. WHO chief uh, Tedros Adahom uh, Ghebreyesus warned that most uh, some countries easing their way out of lockdowns were now witnessing a resurgence of the virus because they were not following proven methods to reduce risks. These statements come as cases continue to rise across the globe, with recent statistics showing nearly one out of every hundred Americans have tested positive. Also, infections in Latin America and the Caribbean have now surpassed 3 million. To school resumption now, which is a trending topic, the federal government has released guidelines ahead of the planned resumption of schools at every level in the country, but failed to disclose the dates. Safe distancing measures and the new guidelines would require pupils and students to stay two meters apart. The guidelines dealt extensively on equitable plans for school reopening and operations focusing on attendance, social distancing, hygiene, cleaning and non-pharmaceutical interventions for safe and healthy school activities and programs. The guidelines were signed by the Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, and Minister of State Education, Chukwemeka Mwajuba, and developed in collaboration with the Federal Ministry of Environment, Federal Ministry of Health, and health safety experts in the country. The minister explained that the need to develop the guidelines became imperative, uh, given that COVID-19 may be with us for a while. Now, the federal government has reduced the arrival time stipulated for travellers to get to the airport by 1 hour 30 minutes. Minister of Aviation Hadi Sirika announced this in a tweet on Monday. The Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria had last month advised passengers to arrive at airports at least three hours before flight times. Moving to Congo now, police have used tear gas to disperse thousands of protesters in the Democratic Republic of Congo's capital, Kinshasa, the latest since five people were killed last week in banned demonstrations. A decision by the National Assembly, dominated by supporters of former President Joseph Kabila, to appoint Rosa Malunda as uh, chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, triggered the marches. Monday's rally at Boulevard Lumumba, one of the city's uh, main avenues, was called by the main alliance of opposition parties, Lamuka, which said that its candidate, uh, Martin Fayuli, was denied victory in the December 2018 elections of a fraud. The police broke up the gathering using tear gas while men in civilian clothes threw stones at the demonstrators. Some protesters were badly hurt falling from vehicles escorting a bimba. Mr. Malunda, who is currently at the commission, is accused of helping to rig elections in favor of former President Kabila, who was succeeded in January last year by Felix Shisekedi. Reports say the capital returned to calm after the demonstrators were dispersed. And that's the news update for this hour on Wake Up Nigeria. Hello guys, welcome to another high speed session with Big Harry. So today we are going to also do what we regularly do, which is fitness, training, but then today is a special 
devising or something different, all right? So I will start with my stretches. But then what we are doing today, just have it at the back of your mind, is a shoulder workout, okay? So today I'm starting with my stretches. Just watch. Okay? Easy. And I'm going the last one. All right, I know you were looking at the water by my side. Don't worry yourself. You get to know why it is here. But for now, stretch. Okay. Yeah, stretch. Enjoy it. Crack those bones. I can vibe mine right now. Okay. We're going. All right. A warm up. That's it. So today we are being creative with our workout. We are working on our shoulders but i don't know this water is tempting but let me still increase my heart rate you know this is called the jumping pose yeah enjoy it yeah enjoy it yeah yeah just to get my heart rate all pumped up and get the body ready for some good shoulder session all right and that's it so i know you'll be thinking what i need this water for oh my god it's very cold so i'm using a very cold water for mine everybody can use dumbbells at home if you have but i'm very much realistic with what you have at home so this is a regular take a position regular shoulder press okay up down up down up down all right make sure you squeeze squeeze all right squeeze okay you have three more of that one okay enjoy it slowly two and the last one all right thank you so the next workout is called shoulder fly all right so this is how we go Okay, and at your shoulder level. Thank you. So for those of you not having dumbbells, you can use your bottle water. I know very well that some, some especially for beginners, it is quite difficult even raising only your arms without anything. You get? So imagine using this bottle water. You can see the difference. All right? It's always good you involve weights. You know why you involve weights? So you get density, you, you, you grow strong bones, all right? And we have two of that, one and one more, two, we end done. Now we are going towards lateral raises, okay? Yeah, this is it. Just one by one, end at your shoulder level. Okay, enjoy your fitness, just be creative with it. Whatever you see you have to carry, you can carry, all right? But just make sure you have a very good grip and your hand at your shoulder. Ensure that you also have a very good form in whatever you're doing because if you're doing it with a bad form, then it's not going to be effective. I mean, you would want to maximize your gains just for these few minutes you want to work out. All right? So I'll give you two more of that. Okay? One more of that. All right? And this is it. Thank you. So now we engage our trap muscles, this one here, all right? So we just hold it by the side, and go up, down, release, up, down, thank you, up, enjoy it, enjoy it, thank you very much. And one more of that, okay, one more, that is it. And I'm done with my water. So whenever you want to work out and you think of using weight, you can use what you have at home. For those of you that don't have dumbbells, you can use water. And if you have good strength and you have dumbbells, please make sure you use your dumbbells. All right? See you guys next time in this high spirit session. Okay? Thank you very much.
Thank you so much for staying tuned. Our oh, chefs are back in the kitchen. And I have here with me this morning, Chef Beth. And I promise he will be making a special delicacy for Definitely. us today. Uh, so it's uh, something you're used to, but with a twist. Uh -huh. Welcome, Chef Beth. Thank you very much. All it's right, so what here. is this breakfast? Okay, so uh, we're making a popular Nigerian breakfast, mm -hmm. especially in the Southwest. So it's basically uh, Ogi Anakara. Ogi Anakara. But it's not going to be the usual Ogi Anakara that we all know. So today we're going to make beet ogi. I'm going to infuse um, beetroot into okay. ogi okay. because uh, beetroot is really, really nutritious yes. and it's um, one of the immune boosting um, plants yeah. that we have. Yeah. So it will go into the ogi. Yeah. Then we're going to make um, shrimps um, akara crumble. Okay, so, shrimps um, akara crumble. crumbles. Yeah. Mm. So it's not going to be the fluffy akara, it's going to be like the eru akara. Wow. Like the Yoruba call it. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, because I know a lot of people, when you go to buy Akara, especially when I was, um, when I was quite young, yeah. I always tell them to put those... Uh, wow, <laughs> yeah, so really? So <laughs> transforming that, you know, right now. So that's what we're going to do with a different twist. And then we're also going to alternate sugar. Okay. We're going to make a um, mint, mint and yeah. um, mint syrup, basically. Okay, you know what? Let, let's yeah. go through the ingredients. Let's take okay, them one Okay, so we have beetroot juice here. Yeah? Okay. It's very simple to make. All you just need to do is just to get your beetroot, fresh okay. beetroot, peel it up, cut it into chunks. Okay. If you don't have a juice extractor, just use call it. Yeah, use a blender. Just have some and water sieve then sieve it out. Okay. Then we have our uh, peeled beans here. Yeah? Okay. Then we have ogi. Wait, how did you get to peel these beans so perfectly? I guess it's a continuous effort and then the more you do it, the better you get at it. Wow. Basically. I thought you used the beans peel uh, no, out. No, at all. At <laughs> okay. all. It's all done with end. Then I have ogi in here. Then I have okay. some shrimps here. Okay. I have some onions. I have some okay. rodo. I have some shombo here. Okay. And uh, this morning, just last night, I didn't send it to you. Okay. I made uh, a spice blend. Okay. And then we have garlic. Okay. We have That's blended sugar, garlic. Blended garlic. Okay. We have uh, ginger and then we have cream in here. So we're not going to use... What sort of cream is that? Uh, it's a pouring cream. Okay. So it's also a cooking cream as well. It could be poured. It could be whipped. It's, uh, this is Millard uh, gold cream. Oh, Very okay. good. Okay. And then we have vanilla flavor here to add some um, eddy flavor to okay. it. Okay. Okay. So what's the process? What, okay. What so the first thing to do... I know we do, started blending some of the beans already. Yeah. So the first thing okay. to do is to get the beans into the blender, add okay. some... I like onions. So that's why you see I have a lot of onions okay. here. Gonna have some onions, add some pepper, okay. blend it up, okay. not too smooth because okay. it's a carrot, it's not moi moi. Okay. Then after that, we go to the making of our ogi. So it's a very simple process. We make ogi, the regular ogi style, okay. and then we add some of this, incorporate um, okay. the beetroot. Okay, so the ogi will be ready, so, yeah. and then you not add this. So it's but gonna this change. Isn't warm. Yeah, it's it's not warm. It's gonna still remain on the heat. Oh. So okay. the temperature is still gonna okay. remain there. So okay. um, yeah. So we're gonna chop this up. And they put it into the akara butter. Ah, I thought it was going into the <laughs> There's nothing we don't see here. Okay. <laughs> We're going to chop this up, put it into the akara butter. Then to okay. make the syrup, it's very simple. So it's an equal portion um, recipe. One cup of water to one cup of sugar. Okay. But this is half cup of um, sugar. Okay. And I'm also going to add half cup of um, water to it. Okay. Then we're going to add some mint, fresh mint, a little vanilla flavor just to, you know, give it that You know what I'm flavor. really worried about? Right. After all this preparation, your yeah. family member saying, you know what, we've lost appetite. We already went to buy a karate, a la karate. Uh, no, <laughs> no, I doubt, I doubt. Because, man, there, there's a lot going on here, mm -hmm. really. There's a whole lot going mm -hmm. on here. Uh, but don't worry, uh, we'll definitely have the beans blended in a bit. Yep. We'll also have everything ready to go so you mm -hmm. can see the entire process definitely. itself, okay? Uh, right about now, though, I have uh, to link you up with Mike, who's going to be talking health. Hi, Mike. Yep, uh, of course, uh, this is one I have been looking forward to since last week when we started this series. We have Dr. Enne Onazi, who is a doctor of medicine and is certified by the Education Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates. Uh, she is registered with the Hungarian Medical Council and Irish Medical Council also. She is an author and uh, this... Um, the series has been about five things you need to know about your nervous system. We started with back aches last week, and this week we're talking about headaches. Hello, Dr. Ene. Good morning. Hello, Dr. Ene. Good morning. Okay, you might need to check if your sound is mute. Check your microphone. If you can hear me, check if your mic is muted. And... Um, We'll sort that out ASAP. Okay, so we're working on that. Now, last week, uh, sort of a recap, we spoke about um, 
back aches, uh, the causes of back aches, what exactly is a back ache? And we, it was quite an expansive interview. We spent well over 10 minutes. We spoke about it, different solutions, uh, panacea and all of that. And it was really expository. You know, and uh, I hope you're able to learn something from that. Of course, we have the video on our YouTube channel. It's CVC Entertainment. That's the dial. Just go there on YouTube and you can access that video today. As soon as we get across to her, I hope uh, it doesn't take into the time. I hope we can have more time. As soon as we get across to her, we'll be talking about headaches, right? We're talking about headaches. Something I'm definitely sure that is not going to give you a headache. Um, Dr. Ene. Hi. Dr. Hi. Ene. Uh -uh. You don't want us to have more time to discuss headaches today. <laughs> All right, it's great to have you this morning. How are you doing this morning? I'm okay, you? I'm great, I'm great. All right, so last week we did back aches and well, let's get straight to it, headaches, headaches. Now that is something that almost everybody's conversant with. It's, it's something that if you're in Lagos, it's concomitant with our lifestyle, with our way of life. You are in traffic, there's noise, there's something. You get back home, there's always something wanting to cause a headache and all that. Let's talk about the common causes of headaches. What are the common causes of headaches and how can we, um, you know, some way the headaches will come, but how can we try to find a way to, you know, make it on the minimum? Yes, so uh, headaches basically is like, it's one of the most common things one would get. And the most common cause that people don't think about is not staying hydrated. That means not drinking enough water, um, mm. changing your routine, suddenly not having a constant, you know, set daily routine, not having a good healthy sleeping habit, sleeping on time, waking up on time, and um, being overworked, being overstressed can be a cause of headache. Um, even medication overuse for headaches can be a cause of headache too as well because when you when you constantly have headaches you think okay you can keep taking this particular medication to help with the pain but when you overtake it it can also lead to headaches it's something we call um, um what's the word medication overuse headaches so mm. these are the many things that lead to headaches yes okay all right now um there's a you know, there's something i i haven't really um, had it before, but I've heard about it quite a lot. Now, people talk about very, very um, heavy headaches, migraines and all of that. There are some that seem to be deeper than just um, stress-related activity and maybe not sleeping and all of that. Some have had it for years. I've heard of people who have had some sort of migraines for maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. Things that seem like they defy wow. solution, they defy medicine and all of that. What, is, what exactly is the cause of those kind of headaches? And uh, I don't know, what do you have to say about them? So um, we, yes, you're right. We have something called migraines, right? And people tend to confuse them a lot too with tension headaches, like I said prior. But the thing with, the thing with migraines is this, it tends to happen on one side of your head and it tends to be like a throbbing kind of sensation. So something that sounds like, um, that feels like it's beating in your head, usually always on one side and it can last for four hours to three days in one sitting. And um, people tend to say that, okay, like this headache is making me feel sick. They feel nauseous. They want to throw up when they have the headaches. They can't work when they have the headaches. They can't sleep well when they have the headaches, those kind of migraines particularly. But with like tension headaches, you can still work. You're, you are tired, but as the day progresses, you know, your, 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 the pain increases a little. Um, but you can still work, you can still sleep, you can do every other thing, you can function normally. But with migraines, you can't even function. You even want to go to like a dark room and, you know, cover your head up and, you know, try and sleep it off, right? And, you know, for most people with the migraines, they can actually treat themselves with um, normal painkillers over the counter before the migraines, you know, really start because they tend to get to know when it's coming. So people that have migraines and have been it for years, they tend to have a feel of when it's coming because when you have something for that long, you can't tell. Yeah, so that's the thing with migraines. It's, it's, All right. People tend to confuse it with headaches, but okay. So, is there anything that we can do to our lifestyle to people who have constant migraines? Is there anything that they can do to their lifestyle to help them, um, uh, you know, reduce the pain or maybe stop it entirely? Yes, um, there are many things you can do because one thing that's very important to know with migraines is this. They, there's something we call triggers, migraine triggers, right? These okay. are things that can cause the migraine. Like if you eat something that you, your body doesn't like, or it's not, you know, um, like something like chocolate or having, um, um, what's the word? 
some citrus fruits can cause it too as well. So what's important to prevent migraines is like having a trigger diary. So what happens is you can, you know, note what happens before you have a migraine, during the migraine and after, mm. and note what happens, um, like if it lasts for a long time, if you feel very tired when the migraine goes, mm. um, when you do this over time, you discover a pattern. You discover if it's something that you eat, it's something that you do, if it's um, exertional, like that's when you overwork yourself and then, during your period of rest, you can't you start having migraines, something we call weekend migraines. Oh, so wonderful. these are the main things to prevent it, yes. All right, so it's possible to do that way to prevent. Now, sometimes headaches are not the the root problem, they are maybe symptoms of something deeper. Right? Is there any way to know that a particular headache that you are experiencing is um, a, a root is actually is that is a root problem or is actually a symptom of something deeper? Is there any way that we can, you know, um, know which is which? Yeah. Mm, there's a way you can know because that's why I mentioned um, having a migraine diary or having a headache diary for, for whatever reason, something that will help you know if there's any changes or any difference. Like if you are very confused during the headache or the migraine, if you, um, you get nauseous, have a feeling. Okay. Uh, have like a thing that is like um, that you have your headache is so severe it's debilitating it's something that makes you so weak you can't move you are so sick um, you can actually tell that this headache is different from other kinds of headaches right and that is yeah. very worrying when you have that kind of headache we call that the worst headache of your life or thunder clap headache it's called, it's called when you're bleeding around your brain we call it a subarachnoid hemorrhage is when you you start you burst you have you have busted a blood vessel in your head and you're bleeding around your brain um so it's very important to notice those kind of changes and if that happens you have to see the doctor as soon as possible it's Wonderful. rare but it's very serious serious yeah all right. I think I think a, a, a note of caution in, in any sort of situation that gets out of hand, out of a normal one, is actually going to see the doctor. That's a, quite a very strong one. All right. So generally, do you have any final um, any final words about headaches? You know, something. You know, any final words? Yeah. Um, so it's very important that everyone you have to maintain a good, healthy lifestyle. That's always something we recommend when it comes to headaches because. People tend to forget that water is extremely important. And, I, and there's even a saying that doctors tend to be more, they drink less water because they're always working with patients. So even doctors too get headaches. So you have to stay hydrated, always drink a lot of water, a lot of fluids. If you are used to a set routine, a set daily routine, keep maintaining that routine. Um, don't take too much painkillers because that can also cause a headache in itself. All right, true, all and right. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Ene. And um, we're looking forward to a continuation of this series. It's always great having you on the show. Thank you. All right, that's it. We'll take your time out now. There's still more to come on the show. Don't go nowhere. All right. Uh, thank you so much uh, for staying tuned. Uh, back to the kitchen with Chef Ben making breakfast. This one is super extra extraordinary i've lost the adjective but, uh, <laughs> we're making akara this morning akara <laughs> nogi, uh, yeah. but with a difference okay mm -hmm. uh, so we've actually gone a long way uh but not too long so you can't catch up all we've done basically is to uh, get the beans blended. blended just look at how rich it looks okay. the beans pepper shombo right yeah shombo and Chef a lot of ben onions is still in charge of course <laughs> <laughs> all right so the next thing we're going to do is to add some of the chopped shrimps okay. into the batter. Okay. Then I'm um, going to add some of the spice um, mix that I made earlier. Okay. Then, Do you want to tell me what's in the spice mix? Okay, so I'm going to tell you two of them, but okay, I'm not going to tell I you the know, other yeah, one. <laughs> okay. okay, so I have Italian seasoning there. So okay. Italian seasoning is a combination of um, sage, marjoram, parsley, oregano, a lot of Italian um, herbs. Yeah. And then... Um, I'll tell you the other one offset. Okay, I'm looking forward <laughs> to that one. All right. So, and the next thing we're going to do after adding that is add some salt to okay. this. Okay. Just a little, not too much. Okay. Then so, instead of using seasoning cubes, you're making use of the mixed seasoning. You yes. Make. Okay. So, uh, and I'm going to add, I like to add a lot of spices to my cooking because they are good. They are very good to your health. So, I'm going to add a little ginger to this. 
Okay. And then we're also going to add a little garlic puree. Now, if I don't want to make use of the puree yeah. for both, can I make use of the raw ginger and raw garlic? So Does it bother you? It, it is better to use the puree because you don't want to be chewing. What if it? I want to chew it? Then you then can I go can't. ahead. It's okay. your choice. So we're okay. just going to mix all of this up. I wanted to be sure it won't affect the mixture eventually. No, it will not. If it's you about know, the chewing is a rough, and It's a rough blend batter. Okay. It's not, it's not, it's not the way um, more and more is that you have to. So in making these akara uh, crumbles, you want to deviate a little bit from the traditional way of frying. Of frying. Okay. So you want to ensure that you had um, a little water. Uh uh, this one is not thick enough. It's too thick, actually. Wow. So that's how we'll be able to achieve um, that crumble because if it's too thick, it will clogged up together and it will become the regular akara. I think we're not doing the regular akara. You should be morning. careful adding water. You don't want to end up with moi kara. That's <laughs> moi moi and akara joined together. So right. you, you better be very careful when adding water. Yeah, that is so, a good thing we can see the consistency yeah, now. So, so it's mean, still quite thick. Yeah, it is actually. So this is fine while our oil is um, getting it's ready enough. to fry. Okay. So um, because it's crumble, it's not the regular one. You need to yeah. ensure that you have um, paper, um, okay. servet okay. or okay. towel in, in the oil in your sieve to absorb all the oil okay. that may want to. And then the onions, I can put it raw. You can put well it raw as well. If you could just chop it up as well if you want. Okay, yeah. okay. So uh, we still have a lot to do. As I said, we, are, we have gone a while, but not uh, all the way. We're still going to make the ogi. We're yeah. still going to fry the akara. So Meanwhile, there's still... We could add some water yes, to this. Yes, don't worry. We'll work on that. All right. Yeah, so, but right now we have to join Titi. Uh, she will be having a conversation right now on parenting. Hi, Titi. Hi, Mary. Now that sounds like a perfect breakfast right there. Well done, Chef Ben. Uh, now, we're moving on to parenting. Now, this is one of the most important topics we talk about here on Wake Up Nigeria. Uh, now, Izef Wairavo is a parenting, well-being, and human flourishing teacher and coach with nearly two decades of practice experience. He has uh, trained as an applied positive psychology practitioner an applied positive psychology coach at the renowned Flourishing Center in New York in the US. Now she's going to be talking to us about parenting mindset and routine as a pathway to a peaceful home. Now it's to conclude on what we started last week. And uh, Izefwa, are you there? Hello. Hey T, I'm right here listening to you. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to see you once again. Same here. All right, so we need to give a little recap on what we talked about last week. Just a brief recap on how a routine mm -hmm. uh, can affect mindset uh, when it comes to parenting. Yes, yeah, so last week what we started talking about was the idea that there are a couple of things that we can do to increase peace within our families and create calmness. And of course, it begins with the mindsets we hold around these things. So one of the things we started to share was routine and the idea that when we learn how to create routine with our children, we actually increase their sense of cooperation to get things done. They are more willing to get things done. And that, of course, reduces the chaos, the yelling, the screaming that goes on mm. around just generally having the systems within our families work. Mm. So the ripple effect is there is calm, there mm. is peace. But the bigger part is we are actually elevating the well-being of our children emotionally, mentally and socially as they learn life skills through practicing routines. OK, so I, I want to just maybe put out a, a little scenario now. Um, for instance, there's an average family, yeah. maybe three kids, a husband, a wife, and you probably notice that the husband wants to stay away a lot more because whenever he comes home, there's always a lot of noise. Uh, so the noise isn't exactly <laughs> because of arguments between him and his wife. It's probably arguments or mm -hmm. rather noise coming from the mother trying to control the children and, of course, the, the husband mm -hmm. trying to instruct the wife on how to better control the children, which in turn makes her even more angry because she's already stressed out, um, you know? So yeah. I, I'm trying to think about how, you know, everyone can work together on this. Because if one member also, of the family begins to say, okay, let's put in a routine, isn't that gonna make everybody feel like, yeah, mom C is at it again. She's still trying to control us. She's still trying to tell us where to go, what to do. 
Um, you know, how does this really work? How do we get there? So in practice, I love the question, Titi, because I think that's a classic of every family, even mine. Mm. So again, the idea of routine, like we said last week, is never the adult, mother, father, whoever, trying to control. Control is the reason for this power struggle. Control is the reason why the children are not doing what you're saying, because in reality, every human being thrives when they feel a sense of autonomy. And by that, we mean giving them personal power to know that they have power over their lives, mm. as tiny as a baby. So, and then there is autonomy, which is found, then there is belonging. Those two things are fundamental, where they feel that this is where we belong, I belong here. And one key way to increase belonging is through contribution, meaningful okay. contribution to the part that you belong. So using the scenario that you played out, there is a father, there is a mother, there mm. are three children, the mom consistently is yelling, the children are screaming and it's chaotic. Mm. A key way to do that is what we call family meetings, okay? Mm. okay? So what family meeting would look like is having that moment during the week, I like to say probably every week, where we come together as a family to really create the what we want, both structure and fun within the family. And structure meaning solving these problems, for, for example, routine. Mm -hmm. So when within that family meeting, so the family meetings is the subject on its own, but for the purpose of this question, I'll just touch it a bit. We can use a family meeting as the medium to create routine, which is our okay. subject today. Okay. And just simply by starting that family meeting where you have the father, the mother, and the children, again, the goal is not to tell the children what to do, but to invite the children and every member of the family to really sit and say, you know what? We have a problem here. As a mom, I could say, I hate that I keep screaming at you people. And I could say, and, and further, I just, I hear that I keep screaming. I hear, I keep having to tell you what to do. And I really want us to come together to solve this problem. Mm. So that is involving, right? Mm. And you come together, a good way to start would be appreciation. Because when you just hit the problem out of here, there is resistance. Mm. I like to say every family member, appreciate the other family member. Like you could go around simply. So these are practical tools and say, mm. I appreciate that you did this, this, this yesterday. So start with the good. Notice mm. the good. And from there, this involves obviously the father, not just the mother, giving your question. From mm. there, move into the challenges. What are the struggles we are having? I want to focus now, we can expand this later on another day, but focusing on routine. What are the challenges we are having? Oh, we're not waking up on time, we're this, 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 you're throwing your things, you're littering this. And these challenges, it's not only mom giving it, it's everybody. The children could say, I don't like the way you talk to me. Mm -hmm. For example, lately my daughter would say, wow. I do not like when everybody keeps wow. telling me what wow. to do. We I love the idea of the family we... meeting. I love the idea of everyone having their input we have to continue this again next week because I feel like children are not being given the chance to have a voice. Is that why I know you would want to speak yeah. to that. I can't let you speak to that now because it's a long conversation. <laughs> Maybe we'll take it to social media, use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. How do you feel about sure. having a family meeting to kind of create a routine and ensure that you have a bit more peace in your home environment. Thank you so much, Izefua, for this one. This discussion Thanks, has to continue next week. We'll be taking a quick break. Of course, Wake Up Nigeria continues after this. Welcome. It's the third lap on Wake Up Nigeria now. We've yeah. had a wonderful two hours gone by and the excitement doesn't end. Of course, uh, the final 45 minutes, they tend to always uh, up yeah. the ante yes, what we've so. done so far. And we still have quite a lot in store as we count down to our third year anniversary. Three fantastic years in front of your screens. <laughs> Three fantastic years where you've led us into your homes. Mm. We don't take it for granted. And uh, hey, this is the third hour coming up on the show right now. You mm. don't want to miss what we have left. And of course, stay with us until the end of the show. I am Mike Messikeno. And Titilayo Oyinson. Please stream the show live on tvcentertainment.tv and of course on Facebook at TVC Connect. And of course, uh, you can send in comments. Use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC.
YouTube, yeah. that's also one stop shop. At TVC Entertainment, that's the channel mm. on YouTube. Get there, our videos are there, the full videos of the show and also segments. That's your place. Yes, so. And on Fridays, we have a little something extra just for you at 2 30 on Instagram Live, mm. where you get to interact with your favorite celebrities, very important individuals. And uh, yeah, last week's was really fun. Yeah, we're last talking about Friday. that tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, uh, last sure. week. Friday all went down. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, maybe this week we'll just we'll just chat with our friends and eventually just just yeah, just, we just, should. just, just, just you know. we should. All right, we but hey, come on. Um, uh, it's what we have left on the show for you now. Face masks are a must-have, and we'll be letting you see how fashionable you can do it. You know the whole on car and all of that stuff. But mm -hmm. hey, come on. Ah, this so much last one It's not an accessory. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. <laughs> And of course, fast rising singer, songwriter, Czech, is going to be joining us online for a conversation. So, um, maybe, though, you know, there's something you used to do before. You used to do this whole um, what's happening what's today happening? thing. I just realized how much I missed. Are you that. serious? Really? And I um, had it open. We really just always had these funniest days. Like today is World Sausage Day or something funny. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, you need to bring that so back. So yeah, you just stand up and you wake up and call it World World T-shirt Day or something. World <laughs> Pinky Day or something. Why are you envious? <laughs> so when like when we were doing World Mike's Day on June 29, you were very happy oh, with yourself. Oh, mm -hmm. It's not envy. It's yeah, so envy. Speaking of Mike, as in, don't you like his look today? As in, oh. as in really this look. I yeah, Mike. Mike today. Mike. Yeah, you. You. Mike. <laughs> there are many Mike's. I'm not. I, Mary, that's I'm not saying anything now. Yeah, because I like this. <laughs> what, what? I like this. What? I like this combo. You like everything. Like the combo, eh? Yes, this, this, what? this. You this, don't have to this touch. What's my name? What's my name? Am What's I my touching name? him? Yeah, what? The shirt, yes. the tie. What's my name? What's my That's name? That's where it stops. Where? What's my name? And then name? yeah, I locked the pants. What's That's my name? Uh, What's That's my name now? Mike. Mike is your name. I beg you, pardon on that. What's my name? Uh. Bob Daddy. I know that's where he was going. Really? <laughs> okay, guy. so that's how not current I am. I didn't what? get that. I didn't catch that. Are I, you honestly, serious? And I feel very bad that I didn't catch that. You know, I'm you just reminded like, me of something, oh but it's not something for it. <laughs> <laughs> just remind me to tell you about the uh, Bob Daddy. Yeah, I'm, scared to, I'm scared to even ask you, Zeb. But um, I'm when you hear it, you. you're going to be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a lot of insanity. Mm -hmm. It was something Faust posted oh. uh, last week. Okay. And okay. that's a, a female fan of his sent to him. But uh, it's not something I can talk about uh, now. So. Have you, have you, have you, <laughs> you know, um, I, I, I would love to know what our viewers think are our best looks mm. from the past three years you know there's some outfits that myself Yomi Mike you have put on that some people actually really like some get loads of hits I'd love to know uh, our viewers best looks <laughs> yeah because I think this oh, is one of them this is one of them you know oh, we don't why? want to know what our, favorite, our best <laughs> outfits are uh, just so <laughs> <laughs> We, don't, we don't want to know. We actually you know do. Excuse, excuse me. No, do you see, want them to be ready to on did you, did you Talk for yourself. Wow. Talk for yourself. Adic Adic so you want to know. So talk for yourself. So you just yeah. go on your page okay, and say, no hey, problem. what are my best looks and all that? No, yeah, no we. problem. In this case, <laughs> you're on your own. Just oh talk for God. yourself. Oh, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Oh, but well. hey, come on, It'll you know, while we, while we step up to, um, while we step up to uh, our, our 30th anniversary, just let us know on social media. Generally, mm. we're talking about the show. So use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. Mm. What do you, uh, what have you enjoyed about the show? What have you mm. not enjoyed? Yeah. You know, me, I'll repose the ones. What have you not enjoyed? Just, mm. just, yeah. just talk nice about three years. Also know things three that years. you would like us to include. That would be really nice. You know, you things mean? you feel ought to also be in the show. Uh, mm. Things you miss that used to be on the show. Mm. You know? Mm. Yeah, stuff you like that. Know. Yeah. Let's go back down memory lane. Yes, <laughs> yes more like it. There's still quite a bit to come on Wake Up Nigeria, and Mary is about to take the news update. That's right. Uh, so we begin this hour with latest developments in Abuja, where the federal government says it has received 4.48 million applications for the NPAR Batch C scheme. Uh, this is uh, far above the initial number of 400,000 applicants earlier planned for uh, by the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Sadia Omar Farouk. She disclosed this via a tweet saying, and I quote, It has been 16 days since the portal opened and we have received 4.48 million applications to date. End of quote. 
Uh, the ministry had recently explained that it was carrying out the transitioning of independent monitors recruited to monitor batch A and B of the NPAR program, as well as other national social investment programs. The program was inaugurated by the government in 2016 with the mandate of lifting citizens out of poverty through a number of social interventions. Uh, to COVID now, uh, our coverage of the novel coronavirus pandemic, the World Health Organization has warned that too many countries were bungling their response to the coronavirus pandemic, meaning there could be no return to normality anytime soon. After a daily record of 230,000 new COVID-19 cases reported on Sunday, the UN Health Agency said the pandemic was only going to get worse unless people stuck to the basics of physical distancing, hand washing, wearing masks and staying home if sick. WHO Chief Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus warned that some countries easing their way out of lockdowns were now witnessing a resurgence of the virus because they were not following proven methods to reduce risks. These statements come as cases continue to rise across the globe, with latest statistics showing nearly one out of every hundred Americans have uh, tested positive. Also, infections in Latin America and the Caribbean have now surpassed three million. Uh, to school resumption now, the federal government has released guidelines ahead of the planned resumption of schools at every level in the country, but failed to disclose the dates. Safe distancing measures in the new guidelines would require pupils and students to stay two meters apart. The guidelines dealt extensively on equitable plans for school reopening and operations, focusing on attendance, social distancing, hygiene, cleaning and non-pharmaceutical interventions for safe and healthy school activities and programs, of course. Uh, the guidelines that were signed by the Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, and uh, Minister of State Education, Chukwe Meka Mwajiuba, and developed in collaboration with the Federal Ministry of Environment, Federal Ministry of Health, and health safety experts in the country. The minister explained that the need to develop the guidelines became imperative, given that COVID-19 may be with us for a while. To travelling now, the federal government has reduced the arrival time stipulated for travellers to get to the airport by 1 hour 30 minutes. Minister of Aviation Hadi Sirika announced this in a tweet on Monday. The Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria had last month advised passengers to arrive at airports at least three hours before flight time. Please, have, uh, and then of course, uh, uh, moving on to Congo now, police have used uh, tear gas to disperse thousands of protesters in the Democratic Republic of Congo's capital, Kinshasa, the latest since five people were killed last week in banned demonstrations. A decision by the National Assembly, dominated by supporters of former President Joseph Kabila to appoint Ronsa Malonda as chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, triggered the marches. Monday's rally at Boulevard Lumumba, one of the city's main avenues, was called by the main alliance of opposition parties, Lamuka, which said that its candidate, Martin Fayulu, was denied victory in the December 2018 elections over fraud. The police broke up the gathering using tear gas while men in civilian clothes threw stones at the demonstrators. Some protesters were badly hurt, falling from vehicles escorting Bimba. Mr. Malonda, who is currently at the commission, is accused of helping to rig elections in favor of former President Kabila, who was succeeded in January last year by Felix Shisekedi. Reports say the capital returned to calm after the demonstrators were dispersed. And that's it on the news uh, for today on Wake of Nigeria. Whoever thought wearing face masks would become a new way of life, a lifestyle, a behavior, an attitude, a fashion accessory? All over the world, face masks are now 2020 wardrobe staple. Since the wake of the global coronavirus pandemic, 
The face mask is the first must-have fashion accessory recommended by the CDC. These face masks are regarded as one of the main weapons in the fight against the disease in many countries, and it is forbidden to be on the streets without them. In the COVID-19 crisis, prices of the professionally treated masks have gone up and in some cases, been in short supply, which has led to the flourishing industry in DIY masks. So you lay down your favorite bandana, unfold it like so. Get your trusty coffee filter that you had on the go. Get your two rubber bands. Roll one down one end like this. Roll the other one down this end like that. Hold them over like so. Grab a hold and you're good to go. Whether it is cloth or Ankara fabrics, people are revving up their sewing machines in a bid to meet the man. We deliver on demand, so we practically make a lot of deliveries every day. From one to a thousand, we actually do that much. But per person, we, a person in my shop makes about 60 face masks. And we're three right now, so three of us can make like 120 in a day. But if you have bulk orders, like we did about a few weeks ago when we had a company order about 1,200, I get my external staff and we make about 360 in a day. While designers bring in style to it. We have the half face mask. So a part of it is black, a part of it is blue. And we also have the plain one. That's the plain blue. So both the back and the front is blue. And we also have a two-faced one that we have the blue and the back is black. So um, both sides are wearable. You can always switch up and yeah. From bling to avant-garde to wearable art to too much, there are so many show-stopping options to choose from. The face masks have always been in the corridors of fashion. We have seen a few designs showcased on the runway and the red carpet. Wearing a face mask has now become a movement, a norm. Organizations are now harnessing their signature touch to their mask designs. We do a lot of company face masks. So this is one we did for a company a few weeks back. We've also done for other companies as well. While it is still unclear as to how long this trend will last, face masks are our new realities and we are hopeful that in the near future, face masks will be relegated to pieces in fashion history. Now remember, stay at home. But if you gotta go, strap it on like so. I'm challenging all you triple Bs out there. It's time for us to band together and see who can make the most badass bandito bandana so we can beat the Corona V. Mm. So uh, that's it. The face masks are here to stay. Um, I know some people have some very, very fashionable face masks and uh, um, different ones are coming. So it's a fashion statement and I'm looking forward to when Owen Bears and all of that resumes and you know, the way you have your gilly and you know, when you're giving, when you're, when you're giving what now, what they call it, the, the actual okay for your wedding, you know that ah, there has to be an extra one for the face mask and all of that, okay? So let's uh, see what uh, we have on social media, what's trending today. Quite a number of trends, I don't know. Um, I was thinking of Tuesday thoughts, uh, Titi. Uh, any, any trends you guys have in mind that you want us to just uh, talk about and uh, maybe share here? Tuesday thoughts was what was going through my mind, but uh, <laughs> what I'm seeing is not, um, uh, hmm. I don't know, there's Tuesday thoughts, there's Tuesday vibes, there's Tuesday motivation. Which, hmm. one, which one do you prefer, Titi? Um, now, the one that's at the top of the list as of right now on the trends is uh, Pastor Adeboe. Um, Mary and I talked a bit about that. And, okay. Um, yeah, so, so we're, we're not going to read out. Oh, should, we? should we read it out? Should we? <laughs> should, we can't read it out. So basically, he has, um, you know, he, he put a birthday shout out to his wife on, on uh, Twitter, or was it Instagram? And it's been screenshot and it's a discussion. Mm. You know, so um, if you find any of the thoughts there uh, from so people you get, that you can I don't read. know, they might for like, what, 40, 50 years? Yes. 
yes. when you get married, so those of if you want to talk about it, when you get married to 10, 20 years and you can't, you um, can't want to talk about it. Uh, Mike, Mike, just, Mike, it's Mike, the, the reality is that several people who have been married have different stories, mm. different perspectives, <laughs> different experiences. <laughs> the fact that one thing works or worked for you does not mean it will work for the next person. Yeah. Mm. So it's, it's uh, making an umbrella directive or making it seem like this is the way forward. It doesn't work. Mm. There are some people who are married to people who had three children even before marriage, mm. you know, pr from mm. a previous marriage, or people who have been married like four times previously, mm. and they are happy. Yet you see some people come out to give you advice that don't marry someone that has been married before, or yeah. don't marry this, yeah. or, you know, these things might not work for you, but do not make it an umbrella directive, making it seem like this is the right thing. And I keep saying something about this Proverbs 31 stuff, um, there's a particular verse in Proverbs 31 that actually says she directs our servants. And mm. I, I, I find it interesting that people ignore that part. You know what it means? It means she has people to help her with these chores that you keep talking about the virtuous woman. And Mary went it's there. True. She went there. So when I hear people going on and on, I'm like, look, what? See, if you cannot afford to get servants for her, mm. it shows that you should also make life easier for her. Mm. But we don't talk about that. Mike, if you I can find any particular tweets okay you know? so uh, basically uh, basically yeah, everybody you know when you go on social media and you put up something on your handle or something you are actually talking to whoever is under your sphere of influence who listens to you mm. thing, you mm. understand so um, for me when 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 they say something they actually speak speaking to a particular set of people if it doesn't concern you don't bother <laughs> about it you pick the one that works for you and you know let's make the world a better place okay so yesterday of course was quite a very big one for sports lovers it's been, we do we don't we've not touched so much on sports and all of that manchester united of course had the um, opportunity the chance to go up to third place of course with a win against southampton and they were unable to take their, 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 their that chance but the big news is that uh, it was a nigerian who was playing for ireland by the way obafemi <laughs> so when you see this kind of people and uh, maybe you ask what's in this about 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 femi about femi or something <laughs> You know, in all those Irish accents are or before me or something like that. I don't know. So, my, so there's this tweet I made this morning. Okay. <laughs> Showing people in a crowd carrying a guy that has this white stuff on his face. Like okay. he has like plenty of powder or white paint. I know what the person that made that original tweet wrote right. said. Chelsea carrying man you back to his position. I will look for that tweet if I can you get it. I look for that tweet. Okay, <laughs> but you know the Bombo Clad trend. So this is Bombo Clad. This is the picture eh, of Man U fans who are about to sleep. Bombo Clad. And then this is the tag. This is the tag. Man U fans about to sleep. Few minutes later. <laughs> Shout guy. out, rugged man! How you know, do you feel right so now? I, you know, this is uh, this is the pain that uh, that uh, my you fans and of course are very angry because that was like a very late equalizer. My gosh, that. that was a very late equalizer. And uh, so, Obafa is a former Chelsea academy boy, and that is his name here. Yeah. See, this is the point I find. This is the point I find very interesting. Michael Oluwa Duro Timi, <laughs> Oluwa Duro Timi. Then 6 July 2000, age 20. Ah, uh -uh, it's just a picking. Dublin Island, and that's why it's not for me Irish, Baba. I mean, you you don't even have. You see, if you are this, <laughs> well, then let me just keep my thoughts to myself because <laughs> this is wanted to say, yeah. But then, um, <laughs> Kanye West as Kanye as his name, oh. somewhere I did Kanye, but it does not mean he's a Nigerian. <laughs> nah, that one, yeah. no, 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 that's that. It's not, it's not. Above him, he says. I hope you win Ballon d'Or with that goal you scored yesterday. It was painful. You know when you score? So that is the latest goal Manchester United have ever considered in what, about 40 years. It was scored in 96th minute. Like, you, it's almost like last kick of the game. You almost have nothing to do. It was hot. Mike, that goal was super. It, it was the kind of goal that Arsenal fans people, too, you are talking to. See, see all the yeah, Mike fans. Arsenal yeah, fans you are see, talking see, to. See, Arsenal, there's nothing anybody can say to me as an Arsenal fan that will shake me. You okay. don't understand. But Mike, this is... I watched Arsenal game just 30 minutes before my Sunday evening show. And you know what the tweets Max FM decided to use? Arsenal <laughs> lost will not dampen Mary's spirits. I looked at the you person said that made that first, like You this. said it was not going to dampen your spirit. <laughs> I saw it, Mary. But the quite, another interesting thing, Maguire is also trending, and this is why he was trending. When they took that thing for the goal, right? This is what happens here. Just look at Maguire. Look, look, look at who Maguire was marking before Honorable Obafemi's goal. Now, nah, watch this guy. Your man. This is the, this is the most expensive defender in the world. Now, nah, watch. Now, nah, look at this. Look at. <laughs> he was marking his. <laughs> <way>. <laughs> 
Look at this guy. Look at the look at look at the guy. Look at the guy. You are you seriously marking his own player. Seriously. <laughs> see ah. Uh, they... <laughs> Mike, this is what you are saying. Even though I'm an Arsenal fan, did you see the picture of when the, the you know that header? <laughs> Seriously, one person was going like this, another person was going like this. In fact, I'm just I, I look at my defense and I'm like, God, mm. <laughs> I can't believe mm. this team. But hey, I still love Arsenal no matter what. <laughs> okay. So Titi, Titi mm -hmm. so this is uh, this is now this is banter and this is this is banter on Twitter. Oh, but my Michael Buffy me now puts up a post and says no time. Now Tammy who is also Nigerian now. You see, you see some, I, I want to talk about this thing also. You see these Nigerian <laughs> boys that, they can play for Nigeria, they have the chance to, but they now say they want to go and play for Shakara. England. <laughs> now England will now give you one friendly, give you like, no, not friendly, one competition, match. just give you five minutes and they've locked you up. It happened to John Fashion. He warned everybody, but Tammy Abraham, Tom Murray, they are following the footsteps. Now, when Tammy said, that's my boy, they now insult and say, can you imagine this stupid boy? <laughs> <laughs> Just he can't stand him what, anyway. amazes me, what amazes me is the amount of time people have to talk about this football. Ah, I'm telling you, why didn't they go to the school and learn to play the football themselves and then go and score those same goals? The way we criticize these ballers on the on the pitch, honestly, please, please. it's Can painful. You mute because mic? you cannot go onto that pitch and please, score please. the same goal. Titi, you say this for. is like saying why? that. Why, why are we talking about politics? Uh, why can't we all be... Po Everybody cannot be politicians now. No, but at well, least we try. Can analyze try it. and go for your constituency. You never know. You might Babe, be able to make forget, a change. Forget, football is life. Try. <laughs> football football is, life. is life. I can't imagine I life you. without football. I hear you. You know, hear you, you. sometimes you start I hear from, you. Mary. Uh, is it the money you want to talk about? Mary. Is it the fun or Mary, those what? Mary, don't worry. That's that food you are cooking. In Titi Ma to not taste that. No, it's wow. In fact, wow. it seems Mary, like you really guess. You, you really? Just, Titi Ma not. Really? But, but the, the way this thing is, I don't know. The way she's looking, I don't. I, I used to think Titi was a Chelsea fan. <laughs> and Chelsea fans are on the up now. But from the way I'm she's talking now. I'm an Arsenal fan. Or Gunners for life. Ah, no wonder. You see? Yeah, that's why no I'm quiet. She's a correct chick. No wonder. <laughs> so, um, Titi, let me just ask you a simple question. Uh, uh, we have to go for a break. No, no, I want to go for a break. Titi, please, can you just mention the current captain so of us? So, with now? that, we have to take a quick break. Titi, who is the current you know, captain of us? As the captain of this particular ship, <laughs> we will be back after this. Welcome back. Now it's about time for us to have a conversation with our guest for today. Nigerian yes. singer and songwriter and musician, Akim Bimidele Bratz, popularly mm. known as Czech. He started his music career while studying at the Obafemi Awolowo University, where he backed a degree in chemical engineering. His music is a fusion of uh, hip hop, R&B, Afrobeats, pop dance, hall, mm. and lots more. It's such a pleasure to have you on the show today, Czech. Thank you for having me. Okay. A pleasure. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Uh, I'm just going to start from that chemical engineering bit. It's, okay. uh, it's, it's a surprise uh, when you hear someone studied chemical engineering, as tough a subject as it is, and the person ends up doing music. It does make you wonder, how did your parents feel? Or how do they feel about it? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's just a typical, I think they acted like typical Nigerian parents. You know, they, they don't really, they didn't really appreciate it at the beginning. So, because they said it was very unreasonable for me to so go and study that and then go into music. So, they okay. didn't like that for us. Okay, okay. So it was a case of, okay, uh, study what you have to study first before you go into music. Uh, but oh, they, didn't, they didn't want the music at all. They didn't even want it at all. Yeah. Even to date. Oh, now, now they don't, now they are just used to it. Now they are used to it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but it's, it's interesting. Um, we're reading here a fusion of hip hop, R&B, Afrobeat, pop, dance hall. That's a lot to put into, you know, your music. Yeah. Um, yeah. How, which do you think you lean towards more? Do you lean towards the pop more, or the, the hip hop more, or maybe even the dance hall? Talk to us. Uh, I, right now, I'm, I'm everywhere, man. I'm on the, on the, as long as I'm fusing everything, I, I don't feel like I lean anywhere. Any, any beat I get, I just feel like I do justice to it. I don't. Okay, that's, okay. That's right now, yeah. Okay, so you, you've been doing music for a while now. You know how it is in the industry where you, 
you go one, two, three years, and the next thing you realize you've been in the industry for so long. What has your experience yes. been like so far? At EP, I thought, you know, maybe it will be a slow start. Uh, you know, I'll be trying to get the audience on my side. And, yeah. But it got, you know, it got pretty good after the first, you know, one week I was excited. So it's good. Okay. All right. So what were you hoping for people to get from this EP? You know, what were you hoping people would gather from it? What sort of impression did you hope people uh, to have of you by dropping all this music? Yeah, I was... Exactly what I went for was uh, versatility. I wanted people to see that I could do anything I wanted to do in music. Like, I could choose any part, you know. Because the, in, in the EP, there's trap, there's Afro beat, there's Afro pop, there's hip hop, there's. Every song is different from the other one. So. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, um, of course, everybody has their, you know, their COVID 19 chronicles. Uh, for yeah. a rising artist, uh, what effect has it had on your music? Because it's, it's, it's the only problem is that when, when you get popping songs, you need to start performing it, you know. But, but apart from that, it's, it's good for meditation and it has been good for me because then I have to record a lot more and I think a lot more, you know, have personal time for myself. Okay. Which is very good for music. Okay, mm. so you know, for some people, they're already making um, a living out of music. Uh, was that the same case for you? You actually have a side hustle you're doing besides music. No, I'm all about music. I'm all about music. Uh, because before I came into here, I used to be, I just write music for people. So that's like how you make extra cash on the side. Okay. Mm. Nobody. That, that's interesting. You were writing songs for people. Uh, anybody yeah. we might know? Oh, no, I wouldn't. No, it's, it's exclusively not to be disclosed. Most times, the contract. Okay, no, no. okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, then I get that. I get that. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. but, but, you know, the writing of songs, is, it can be very technical at times, uh, and you have to be in the right mood. So what exactly yeah. do you do to put yourself in the right frame of mind to write a song? My own, my own way, my own method is premeditation. Hmm. So like I do not write at all. I just go in on the beat. I don't pen anything down. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I think a lot prior to the time or anytime I'm not recording, I think a lot. I premeditate a lot. I think about different things. Okay. So when I want to make a music, I just go on like that, you know. Yeah. And mm. I just so the right now, it's all about your Razor EP. Congratulations yeah. on that one, your yeah. debut oh, thank EP. Thank you so much. Uh, thank so you. Uh, what should we expect from you, Czech, uh, at least for the rest of 2020 and over the next few years? Uh, plenty of projects. I, I, my mind is bound on dropping projects, great projects, getting better, you know, as the time goes on. You know, songs that will be, will be always remembered to be not just music, but, you know, the words coming out of the music has to be very important to, to, the, to the general populace, you know. That's all right, what I'm all right. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. It's great talking yeah. to you, Czech. We see some yeah. great things in your future. You have some amazing potential there, and this EP is looking great. Yeah. As soon as the Thank lockdown you. is over, you need to make sure you come perform one or two tracks for us on yeah. set. Yeah, I'd love that. My pleasure. I'll be glad to do that. All right. All right. So uh, we'll be heading to the kitchen, but yeah. with uh, Czech's music in the background, you know, watching his video right now. Yeah. Uh, yes. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. Razor. <laughs> nice one. Check there. Check, check, check. I like the name too. Check. Yeah, like give me the money. Yes, sir. Check. This is sweet now. Yeah. Instead of so what? Sugar. This is pop akara. Yeah. Okay. And sugar syrup, basically. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. Mint syrup. So just tell us, just run us through very fast what we have here. Okay. So here you have a beet ogi. Okay. So beet is a short form of um, beetroot. Yeah. Right. And then you have akara crumbles. Then you have. Um, the mint syrup. Okay. So when you say there was, I was thinking you bring a cara. So you just say. Uh, <laughs> it's it's it crumbles. So it's yeah. Like crumbles. Yeah, yes. Basically. So it's not the whole. It's not the whole akara. It's, it's so this is like a childhood memory for me. Oh, wow. While growing up, I love to eat the, the we Eru. call it eru akara. Yes, eru yeah. So you know, yeah. trying to be, bring it into fusion and trying to, um, you know, put our food you on the map. You know what he's trying to describe, Mike? 
you know when the Akara seller has finished selling and their crumbs at the yeah. bottom? Those ones is 15 hour ones. Those are the ones. Those are the sweetest. Hour they now put prawn on top. Yeah, because this okay. one, this okay. one has okay. shrimps okay. in okay. it. Okay, okay, okay. Let, okay. let me have no, a taste. Wait, which <laughs> Mary. Mary told you that you are not. Is even Mike really? that is the guest? Okay? Really? You see you now. Uh, really? You see so you. Both of you planned this one. So let me just. Chef Ben didn't want to tell you he made this one for me. He made it for me. Put it on. Imagine. See gang up. And the cream, <laughs> my take a bit of it, Mary, like, this, like this, like this. Don't taste it. Don't, like this. Don't do it. Mm. No, Mary, it's over. Our love. Wow. Oh, was it <laughs> it's nice. Definitely. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well done, Chef Ben. Yeah, well try with the Akara. Well done, well done, well done Chef Ben. Thank you very much. The please. presentation as well is it's with amazing. the Akara crumbs. Let me try it. But I, that is a memory for me too. The crumbs from yeah. the bottom of that newspaper. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> Oh. With the Akara crumbs, actually, yeah. tastes a lot better. Thank you very oh, much. Amazing. Really appreciate it. Let me continue yeah. enjoying it. Let's, let's, um, wow. let's okay. see the ticket of our channel. Oh, I can't do that. She's my friend. <laughs> this is like a historical moment <laughs> because it's episode 777. Oh, wow. That's yeah, why so they, they are teaming up I today. Am the, this is the first time I'll be getting to taste the food first. Wow. Wow. It's, it's my lucky amazing. day. Amazing. Yes, it let is. Let me go and look for money. Maybe I'll find today. It's been a wonderful time on the show. Thank you for being a part of the show. We're looking forward to Friday. Of course, it's a countdown tomorrow, Thursday, and mm -hmm. finally Friday. Yeah. We'll have a wonderful time. 6 a.m. each day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.